Hello, my friends. Gabe Elgara here from drumbeatsonline.com. And today, I'm going to try to play the paradiddle in 40 different ways. And you might ask yourself, Gabe, why would you do something like that? I don't know. Now, here's the deal. Today's video isn't as much about, hey, here's how you play a paradiddle really good. It's about the process. This is one of those, the journey is the destination type of videos. Because the process of how to translate a single lick or a single rudiment in a million different ways, or okay, 40 different ways, is where I think we're gonna get most of the value from this video. So real quick, I'll let you know the different categories of how I'm gonna try to break up this paradiddle, but then I've got a lot of work to do and I'm gonna try this challenge. A little bit sick. That was cool. All right, so so far I only have four different categories of how I'm primarily going to break up the paradiddle. So number one is orchestration, and this is simply how I'm going to apply the paradiddle around the kit. So this could be applying it in different beats and applying it in different fills. The second category is I'm gonna mess around with changing the actual subdivision of the paradiddle. So we'll play it in 16th notes, like pretty standard, and then I'll start exploring with playing it in eighth note triplets and 16th note triplets and see what type of patterns we can come up with from there. Then the third category is I'm gonna start messing around with the accents and see what comes out. Generally, the paradiddle is just accenting those first notes, but if we start moving that around a little bit, I think it can help our overall creativity and we can make more versions of the paradiddle. And the last category is splitting the rudiment between your hands and your feet. So playing a paradiddle alternating, well, I guess between your hands and your feet, I just said that. So we'll see what we can come up with, but we have a lot of paradiddling to get to. So let's start off with the first one real quick. Also, I forgot to mention that if you like any of these paradiddle variations, I've made a PDF with all 40 of them that you can download for free right up here or in the link in the description below. Are you ready to start this? All right, let's do it. Dang it. <laughs> all right, we're done. I'll see you guys later. All right, but for real, like, let's play 39 on the drum kit now. All right, here we go. All right, so like I said, one of the first places we can go from here is to change up the orchestration by incorporating the traditional 16th note paradiddle into our beats and fills. And the first thing I would do is start to move my dominant hand around, starting off on the closed hi-hat. So boom, right away, we've got a drum beat and we can just keep moving our dominant hand around to get more variations of the paradiddle. Heck yes, just like that, we are already at six. Guys, I think we can do this. So what I would do next is I would start moving my left hand around with my right hand to see if we can get even more patterns. I'm trying to figure it out. Um, All right, two more. We're already getting hot. All right, so that's all cool. We already got eight different styles of paradiddles, but they all start to sound a little bit the same to me. So now I wanna try incorporating them, but maybe starting off a beat that way and then letting my mind take over. We don't have to play the entire beat as if it were a paradiddle, but we have to incorporate it somehow. So let's see if we can explore a little bit and see what comes out. All right, that was pretty fun. Let's see if we can do a little bit more of that in a beat context. Maybe then we could move on to fills or something. Now 
just want to do the same thing again. <laughs> Try four on the floor underneath. Boom, that's 10. All right, let's, uh, let's maybe try some fills. All right, so what I'm gonna explore here is the same thing that I did with the beats, and that's just starting off by moving my dominant hand around and then taking it from there. So let's do that. All right, so I jumped the gun a little bit on that. I started off just moving my right hand around, but then I got my left hand involved. Either way, we'll count it, but I want to keep exploring with that, see if I can get anything else, see if I can play it in any different styles, and then, yeah, from there, we'll just try to incorporate it rather than playing it the entire time. Okay, we're getting a little repetitive now. Getting a little repetitive. Now, yeah, let's build it. Let's see, let's see what we can come up with here. Ooh. So another tip for all you people trying to incorporate rudiments into your fills, if you have a double kick pedal, if you play straight 16th notes under the rudiment, it makes it sound like way cooler. <laughs> I think we need a four on the four on the floor here. Okay, so I had to charge this camera, but I realized that I'm setting a terrible example in that I haven't done any left hand lead paradiddle work. So let's experiment with that a little bit. But first I gotta put this camera back up here. Okay, and then if we're going with the other rule, just throw some 16th note double kicks under it. <laughs> okay, so we have done 20 different variations of the paradiddle in fills and beats with different hands leading, played in different ways, incorporating it in different ways. So now let's try to experiment with changing the subdivision. So I'm gonna try to play them as eighth note triplets instead of 16th notes. And uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. We gotta plug in the click track for this one though. That is for sure.
mess that one up too. Okay, well we got two in there. Now uh, let's bump up the tempo a little bit and have some fun with it. I love how that pattern feels like it's dragging and it turns into this polyrhythmic feel, which I really love. I think I got one more in me. Let's experiment with it. All right, so so far I feel like we're doing pretty darn good. We're moving on up to 16th note triplet paradiddles. Let's see what these things sound like. Get the metronome back, start at 60, so we can get nice and comfortable. And that second kick hit. Okay, so that's the accent pattern. Might be a little sloppy, but let's keep playing with it, keep experimenting with it, and uh, see what we can come up with. So that's actually pretty sweet. I would love to work on that more because what a cool way to kind of modulate what you're playing. It sounds like you're just playing a normal beat and then just by playing that paradiddle on the hi-hat and keeping the kick drum on those quarter notes, you got this cool kind of modulation type style beat. So let's keep messing around with this. I'm having fun with it. That's cool, I like that. Man, if I could keep the kick.
Holy smokes, I am, uh, I'm tired. This is tiring, <laughs> but it's fun. This is a good like creative exercise, holy smokes. So next up, we've got changing accents. Let's see what type of accents we can change in the paradiddle to get some new sounds for us to apply it behind the kit. Oh, so I guess I should explain what I'm going to do. So I'm going to switch the accents from the first note to the second note. So instead of that first right, we're going to accent the left that comes right after that right and vice versa. Instead of that first left, we're going to accent that second right. So let's play around with it. I go to the same beat every time. <laughs> so now what I want to do is stick to the same accent pattern of a traditional paradiddle, but accent the second note the second time around. So we've got right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. See how that sounds. So the next thing I'm going to try to do to differentiate everything is something called rudiment splits. And that's simply just splitting the pattern between your hands and your feet. So what we'll do in this example is I'll probably just try to mess with something of doing the right hand in paradiddles on my right hand, but the left ones on the kick. So if we just do that between the floor tom and the kick drum, get something like this. Oh my goodness, I think we did it. We played the paradiddle in 40 different ways on this drum set here. That was a really fun challenge for me and this was a different type of video. This is a lesson in a different way because I wanted to open you guys up to one, I guess, my creative process of, okay, how do I try to be more creative on the kit using something as simple as a paradiddle? And I thought it could be cool for you guys to just see the raw process of me trying to figure that out. I don't always sound great in this because I'm trying to come up with things on the fly, but hopefully you can take what you learned from this video and try to apply it to anything else in the way that we broke down the paradiddle and then maybe just even in the way of exploring behind the drum kit. That's what it's all about. So thank you so much for watching this long video. I really appreciate it. Please stay true. This was my way of staying true for you guys to show you the raw process of what this looks like. And like I said, you can get all the notation for free right up here or in the description below. Thanks again for watching and I will see you later. Bye.